What's up everyone, this is Wasim from the Tech Boys and I have a special unboxing of the uh, new 2012 MacBook Pro with Retina display. Uh, so this is the new MacBook Pro, the next generation. So there's a lot of new changes on this MacBook Pro from previous generations, but let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the box, you can see the new sexy MacBook Pro. Apple logo on both sides. And a little information that we don't care about. And let's just start cutting this guy. So again, the MacBook Pro does start around $2,200. This model, I actually customized it, so it is uh, extra 8 gig of memory, so 16 gigs of RAM total. And it has Intel's new uh, quad-core i7 processor. And the resolution of this guy is just killer. The resolution of the MacBook Pro is 2880 by 1800 so a lot more than what you would see on an HD television. And there's the beast right here. You just put this on the side for just a few seconds. And you're also going to get some documentation. Make sure to read this, very important. You can see hello with a quick start guide, um, warranty information, Apple stickers, and a cleaning cloth so you can keep your uh, expensive MacBook Pro nice and shiny. There's also the new MagSafe 2. So this is not going to work with any older um, MacBook Pros. This is a brand new adapter because of the thinness of the, the new MacBook Pro. So there's uh, MagSafe 2. And then we can put all this to the side and focus on the beauty. So there it is. Extremely thin. It's it's not as thin as the new MacBook Air, but it's a lot thinner than the current generation MacBook Pro. You can take out the plastic. And then you can see the new ventilation system on both sides. Um, the uh, SD card and HDMI out. That's the first we've ever seen on any MacBook product. Um, a USB 3.0 as well as 2.0 all in one. Nothing on the back, obviously. And on the left, a MagSafe 2, two Thunderbolt ports, and an additional USB 3.0, and a headphone jack. Again, you're not going to find an optical drive to put CDs. Everything's all cloud storage now, and that's really what the next generation notebooks are going to be like. And then when we open this guy, you can see it's a 15.5 inch display. The same keyboard you would find on all our MacBooks, um, the glass trackpad. And there's really no physical button like you could see on previous generation MacBook Pros. It's going to be an on-screen button. So let's go ahead and boot this guy up. As for memory, it's 256 SSD. What SSD is a solid state drive, so boot up time is going to be extremely fast. Launching application is going to be a lot faster than a regular hard drive. And I can do a little comparison between a uh, 2010 MacBook Pro. So it's so about 15.5 inch. Um, like the power button is not there. We close both of them. I put them on top of each other. You can see how thin the new MacBook Pro is. All right, out of the box is gonna come with OS X Lion, but it will be a free upgrade to Mountain Lion. So I'm gonna go through the uh, the boot up process, and then I'll be back. Alright, so let me go over the specs one more time with you guys, just so we are clear. Um, like I said, it's powered by Intel's new Core i7. Um, this model has a 2.3 GHz quad-core, but you can uh, boost that up to 2.6 GHz. Um, like I said, uh, 256 gigabytes of flash storage, and you can expand it to 512 and up to 768 of SSD. Um, it is The width is 0.71 inches and the weight is 4.46 pounds so it's about a pound lighter than the current generation MacBook Pros. Um, it's also powered by Nvidia's new Intel HD graphics so if you like to game, um, gaming is going to be a lot faster and smoother on the new MacBook Pro. 
Um, there's also a new HD FaceTime camera in 720p, so that's a really nice bump from the uh, MacBook Air or the current MacBook Pros. And like I said, all the connectors, two USB 3.0 ports, uh, two Thunderbolt ports, the new MagSafe 2, and HDMI out, which is the first for all MacBooks. And you're going to get the latest with Bluetooth 4.0 technology and Wi-Fi. Like I said, uh, improved speakers right on the side. And overall, a really nice package. I'll go ahead and put this uh, to test in a few weeks, and I'll come back with the full review. But this is a first look at the new MacBook Pro 2012. Thank you.